Ah, so satisfying. In this video, I'm continuing the countdown of PC Gamer's top 50 PC games of all time from the November 1999 issue. Starting off with number 20, Ultima Underworld 2. Before even Doom arrived on the scene to wow audiences with its hardcore first-person action, Ultima Underworld introduced role players to an even more advanced breed of 3D experience that included full freedom of vision and movement, jumping, and even levitation abilities. These games have long been a favorite of PC Gamer editors, and for good reason. They play like a dream, contain devious puzzles, and feature some of the most stellar graphics of their time. Both the original and its quickie sequel blew RPG fans away with their first ever up close and personal look inside the Ultima universe. After this, role playing would never quite be the same again. Number 19, Myth 2. A welcome reprieve from the base building antics of the real time strategy games that came before it, the Myth game steered RTS gaming in an intriguing new direction by abandoning the conventional concepts of base defense and attack placing the focus on close-in, tactical warfare. Created almost entirely in 3D, the terrain is polygonal while the units themselves are sprites. Myth and its slightly more advanced sequel allowed players to alter their camera angle on the fly in order to get the best view of the changing tactical situation, and it looks stunning. Clever, story-driven campaign missions combined with some very inventive multiplayer twists created what could have been a glimpse at the future of this fast-evolving genre. Number 18, Sam and Max Hit the Road. With Maniac Mansion, LucasArts introduced gamers to the idea of the tongue-in-cheek comedy adventure and went on to refine the art with the Python-esque Monkey Island games. But it was with Sam and Max Hit the Road that the concept of a game being fun and funny in equal measure was fully realized. Based on Steve Purcell's cult comic book about a canine detective and his psychotic rabbit sidekick, Sam and Max plays out as a riotous slapstick comedy from beginning to end. While the gameplay remains as smart and addicting as anything LucasArts has done before or since, a unique visual style, a script packed with fast-paced zingers, and an unshamedly surrealistic sensibility add up to a classic example of the kind of outrageously daring adventure that few companies have the balls to produce anymore. Number 17. Longbow 2 It often goes overlooked that one of the finest military flight sims of all time doesn't have anything to do with airplanes. Jane's Longbow 2 is a highly detailed modeling of the Apache attack helicopter, one of the most decisive close support platforms available to the U.S. Armed Forces. The Apache is yours to learn through a brilliant series of tutorial missions that set a new mark for flight sim instruction. Then the campaign begins, and the fun really starts. Tank busting has never been more fun than when you're smoking bandits with Hellfire missiles. The crackling graphics, particularly the superb terrain work, lift Longbow 2 into the highest tier of combat sims. Number 16, Lynx LS, 1998 edition. As with the NHL series from EA Sports, the Lynx series is represented here by a less than current version of the game. Near perfection was tampered with in LS99, as the method for hitting sand shots was changed. The goal was to make Bucker play more challenging, but it just turned out to be an annoying change that no one liked. And so, LS 1998 held on for another year, thanks to the impeccable ball physics, photorealistic graphics, and the best example of the putting game found in all of PC golf. The last couple of years in the 90s saw some serious competition mounted by Activision's Jack Nicklaus games, as well as Sierra's PGA Championship Series. Before the time, Lynx LS remained atop the leaderboard.